Hey, subscribe to the channel, man. Like the video. Look, you got to realize that all the people that everybody's been talking about, them the ones that everything just keep on happening to. Like, <laughs> yo, Gotti go do a show here. Something happened, go down over there. People was talking about Lil Migo back here. And then, boom, something happened to his friends. And he ain't even spoke out yet or nothing like that. And then... Next thing you know, man, it's just going to keep happening. It's a full circle. Like, it's it's just going to keep coming back to these people. Like, this that karma and butterfly effect. You got to understand that that's the reason why they're not innocent. Like, the it, when, uh, when you do good, like, good things will come. But when you do bad, all these bad things keep coming. So, like, that's the reason why everything keep going down. It's a lot of people that they actually made like mad that they lied to a lot of people and they see through the BS like all these people right now like they're like man I don't believe it and they're really like spinning the block for for the people that are gone you know so that's what's going down and the fact that Yo Gotti was told not to play a diss song in Alabama that show they told him do not play no diss song if you come here and that and that, that's the one thing that's not going to happen is that Yogadi wasn't going to play that Dolph this. And guess what he did? Right in the middle of the show, it was like maybe 10, 15 minutes, in, like pretty much right after he came out and they did the intro and everything. He plays the diss song after a couple songs. The DJ didn't really want to do it, but they played the diss song and... When they played that diss song, that's when everybody reacted and they were like, wait, what? That's when, and then the, the real dudes from Alabama and from Mobile, the real steppers from Mobile that told him not to play no diss songs, they ended up reacting. This is, and that's how they reacted. You see everything that went down over there in Alabama. Like, that's what happens if you go into an area that you far away. They far away from Memphis down there. Like, this is not... Yo Gotti's territory. Yo Gotti's territory was North Memphis anyway. So like he don't have that territory, but that's the area that he's known around, right? So what's he doing in Mobile, Alabama, trying to play this diss song? And that's the exact reason why they're not having that. So he doesn't have any allies out there to support and to like back him up in case he does play that diss song. Mm -hmm. And what they ended up doing was that they reacted they they um basically got get back right there they tried to get the get back somebody got hit it was like a, a ricochet we don't really know like exactly the um the uh, details following up after that but basically it all came from um yo Gotti trying to play that diss and that man next thing you know he he gonna he definitely can't come back there like he can't go nowhere. They might cancel everything in his, in his whole show. His album all pretty much already flopped. Like other people, um, albums are doing way better. I don't see him in the in the charts really at all. So that's what's going on. <laughs> um, moving forward though, like the stuff with Lil Migo and then man, that's crazy because he ain't came out and spoke yet. So we ain't heard nothing. No live. No no tweet. No messages. So like. They must be grieving. They must be going through a lot, man. I can't imagine what a lot of things that they're going through right now. But, like, another thing is it, it, it ain't no coincidence that Lil Migo's name was coming up and coming up. And people was talking about him. Like, I seen pictures of him. Other bloggers was talking about Lil Migo, this connection and this and that, right? So the connection that he must have had or whatever role he must have played in this whole thing because he is Black Youngster artist. Like, either they was trying to get one of Black Youngster's people or was trying to get Lil Migos people to let them know that they're coming for him and Black Youngster. But either way, Black Youngster and Lil Migo, just because of the fact that, you know, they are who they are, like, signed, you know, to each other, both under Gotti and everything, and me go under Black Youngster, they up to no good. Like, they're not doing nothing positive for the community, regardless of who's the victims, who's this and that, right? Like, they ain't do no good for the community anyway. So, and the fact that they're even being mentioned and brought up in the mix of having a role and playing uh, what happened to Dolph, like, that's, that's instantly going to have some type of karma 
come back after them. Like something's going to come back and bite them. Um, man, it's going to come back and hurt them in the long run because they done chose to go down the wrong path. They didn't, they never gave back. They wasn't humble. They didn't do nothing to uplift or try to teach people how to um, break out of the, you know, get get freedom and, and financially if they got money and they didn't, they didn't do no food truck tours, nothing like Grove Hero and them and Dolph did. They didn't give away no Lambos or nothing like that, like Dolph so, and Grove Hero. So that's the thing. They didn't help and support. It seemed like they was just really finessing their neighborhoods out of all the attention that they got. Finessing the neighborhoods out of all the clout and the fake beef and all the smoke. Like they were they were really the problems in their neighborhoods. So they that's why all this stuff comes back to bite them. Because this it's really uh like adding up of all the the fool shit they did, all the goofy stuff they did in their neighborhoods. This beef pulling up to people's like neighborhoods on live, trying to fight with with Shondell in the background, and all these people wearing red and everything like stupid stuff. So all that comes to and backfires on them. It backfired on them, and you see what's going on now. And the fact that people um, people still talking about Black Youngster and that and that uh, insurance agent that he had, like that's still a thing, you know. It's real live out here, you know what I mean? So you can't overlook the fact that they have so many pieces of the puzzle that have Black Youngster on it and all these CMG people on it. It's no wonder why all the, all these things are happening to them. Like, I'm not surprised at all because it's just like when, you know, uh, you, you get what you, what you put in, you get what you put in. Like, it's going to come around. You, they bit the hand that fed them. Um... Everything is full circle. Like, they're not going to get away from the energy that they put in. It's going to come back around to get them. Like, you got to basically treat people how you want to be treated. And if they treated them wrong, then they're going to get treated wrong in some shape, way, or fashion. Um, who knows? Not not saying by a specific person or anybody, but, like, you know, just the things that the hands that they're dealt in life end up being bad cards and that's the type of stuff that goes down man when you go down that path you know you you get the cards that you dealt in life and depending on how you respond and how you play your cards right and you know the the type of um the goodness you do and how you how you how you act how you move um your relationships with people if you got that good energy you're gonna start getting better cards but if you start putting in bad negative energy, feeding in to the negatives, um, you know, and all this kind of stuff that they're doing over there, then you get the wrong cards dealt in life. You start getting the bad cards. You start getting cards that match up with the kind of stuff that you're doing in life. So if you're doing uplifting things, you're going to get uplifting cards. If you're doing put down things, then you're going to get cards that put you down. And man, so that's basically how I see it. And Y'all got to subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment. Let me hear what y'all think, man. Put the Dolphins in the chat. Let me know if y'all support uh, Dolphin in the comment. Hit up the PREs in the comment, man. Let's get it.